<laughs> That's Jesus. four pounds of meat, five pounds of meat right there. At least. That's as big as my head. That's as big as your head. <laughs> I don't know, I got a pretty big head, dude. Do you see me with a hat on? Human head weighs eight oh. pounds. This is about five pounds. My, my head weighs like 14. That is massive. Enough for a meal, yeah? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. I'm Will. If you're new to the channel, one of the things that I love doing is going to boats and collecting the discarded scraps. Um, that would be the head, the collars, the racks, anything like that. So the other day, Aaron went out on a charter, sent me pictures of the biggest mutton I have seen ever. And uh, I ran down to the boat, the charter wanted to keep the fillets. So they took the fillets and what it left me with was the head and collar. So the head and collar, I threw into the oven at 350 for about 35 minutes because it was huge. Usually it's about 15 to 20 minutes, but this one took a while. Um, I picked all the meat and I actually am just using the head today, not even the collars. The collars are in the fridge. We're going to eat those another time. And what I'm going to make today is a dish called Mapo Tofu. Mapo tofu is traditionally Szechuan pepper, garlic, ginger, tofu, and ground pork. We're gonna take out the ground pork and we're gonna substitute it with our picked mutton head snapper. Mutton snapper head. So some of the other ingredients that I'm gonna chop up now, I have a shallot, red chili, and some scallions. Thank you. 
Now that I have all my ingredients cut up, we got a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm on medium high heat. And like most Szechuan dishes, this is gonna move very, very fast. So the first thing in is your Szechuan pepper. If you've never cooked with Szechuan pepper, it's really interesting because what it does is actually numbs your mouth. And you might be asking, why would you wanna have something that numbs your mouth? Well, it gives you the ability to put more spice into your dish. And that way you actually taste the chilies instead of just having your mouth burn. So we wanna toast those, that's the first thing in. Next in is gonna be my garlic and ginger. We microplane that earlier. So that's garlic and ginger. Next, my shallots and pepper. The ginger got me. Let that cook for just a second. And then what I have here is black, fermented black bean paste. This is also a very important ingredient. And then I have about a quarter cup of water here. And we're gonna take about a teaspoon of cornstarch. Mix that until there are no clumps in there. And we add that. What that's gonna do is actually thicken up our sauce and help it coat our tofu and fish. And now tofu is already cooked. You can eat it raw. Really, we're just heating it up. I'm not toasting it. I'm not frying it. What we did do with this was press it to get all the water to come out. So next in, my tofu. And next, which is last, so this is backwards. Normally with mapo tofu, your pork would go in because you have to cook it through. Our fish is already cooked, so it's our last to go in. That is crazy how much meat came off of that. And a couple of drops of sesame oil. And I'm always really, really sparing sparing with sesame oil. It is such a strong flavor that it can take over an entire dish. And this is chili oil. So another spice. Turn off our heat. Add our scallion. The smell of the garlic ginger and the shallot. Oh my god. All right, I have here my friend James Ferrara. He's been on a couple episodes. If you haven't checked out his stuff on uh, Instagram, J Ferrara Gallery. Gallery. Some of the best photography you'll see. All right, you're not a tofu eater, are you? No. Yes. But I'll give it a go. Okay. We're going. We're going on flavor. That's really good. It's got a lot, <laughs> nice little kick to it. So it's normally, a little sweetness too. Normally, it's a bit saucier, and they serve it over rice, yeah. and it also has pork in it instead of the mutton. But I don't mind. The pork gives another texture. That's the only thing we're missing. It's a little bit one note on the texture with the fish, but I'm not mad about it. Oh, this is good. Are you a tofu believer now? Because I'm sure a lot of people watching this are like tofu. No. No way. Well, tofu, doesn't it take on whatever flavor pretty much you... Yeah, it's an empty vessel. Yeah. It's like... 
the spice doesn't hit until after you. It's good though. It lingers. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely lingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Hit that like button, hit subscribe. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it. Um, again, this is another example of how I have more to feed two more people and it was something that was gonna be thrown away and I have the collars in the fridge for another meal. And that was all something that the charter didn't wanna keep. So really important, use all of your catch. Thanks guys, see you on the next one. <laughs>